Hey there, so if you're using money.com and you wanna build a chart or a dashboard with it, I'm gonna show you how to do that in a very few steps here, okay? So either you are using Monday for your CRM or maybe as your project management system and board, that is a very easy way for you to start building dashboards, charts, so you can analyze all your data okay so here it's an example of a crm all you have to do is click on this plus button here and we can select chart okay after you select chart it's gonna create a first chart for you and then you have the possibility of customizing this chart okay so you can select the chart type that you want to see and you have a pie chart bar lines stacked bar like this one and also bubbles but you also have other options here as well depending on the type of chart that you want to see okay after you selected the chart type you can select the, the data that you want to see on the chart you have the x axis and you have the y axis okay so on the x axis on this example i'm going to select the lead status but you, you can select any column, any field that you have on your board, okay? Then on the Y, you can select, okay, for, for example, in this case, you have the option to select, to count the number of items in each group, in each status here. And then you have the option to show the deal value. So you basically show the sum or the average of every deal value here according to each status okay but let me like for this example i just want to see how many deals i have in each status here okay so i'm going to select count items and here you have the option to select if you want to show the the items as a sum as an average medium minimum or max okay so you can you have all these options as well but in this case i'm just going to select some and then you can select a benchmark line so let's say that the benchmark of number of items is 30 or 40 you can add a line a line for this so you can kind of keep track of where are you today based on your benchmark line so let's say that i'm going to select 30 uh, key average okay that's and then of course you can select the color of your benchmark line okay and then you have more settings so let's say that in this case you're showing the they are showing the chart based on the y axis okay but let's say that i want to select based on the status so now i have the same order of status that i have there on my on my steering board and now you can see like this way okay you also have the option to show cumulative data and also if you want to show just empty empty values here and this is so if you have different groups on your board you also have the option to select which group you want to show here on this chart you want to be considered to to show on to show up on this chart okay so you you can select here the groups and that's mostly it so now you have your chart and you you can keep adding different different types of charts so you can add a chart you can add a number okay for example let's say that you want to add a number as the average of your deal value so you can come here the same way that i showed you before you have deal value and you can show the average the average value of your deals there on your crm okay or you can select the battery to show the progress of a particular project or or task but the goal is for you to keep adding different charts so you can have a full dashboard here ready for you on monday right and remember that you can create this type of dashboards this type of charts for each board that you have there okay so for each board you can have your own dashboard so you can analyze or this so you, you don't need to export the data and to and create dashboards and charts somewhere else right so you don't need to export it to a spreadsheet for example you can build those very nice dashboards right here on money.com hope that's it useful so if you want to see other videos about automation about ai just check my channel and check this video here where i can show you how automation can really help you scale your business thank you